Several homeowners were last year evicted by the Kenya Airports Authority, who laid claim to the Siokimau land next to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. And today, when communities in the slums in the area appeared before the Mutava Musimi-led Committee on Land and Natural Resources, demanded that clear-cut measures be put in place to compensate those who were evicted from the land. We, we feel that the law can be very tricky. And if we just talk about what is legally possible, uh, we may not, a, lo a lot of our people may not get the kind of help we'd like, uh, we would like them to get. Conclude this thing, bring it to conclusion through a professional body that will go out there, go through all these places and come up with specific recommendations. But this flies in the face of Lance P.S. Dorothy Angote's contention that the Siokimau case is a criminal one and a fraud. None of the people who built on Siokimau have a title deed of any type whatsoever. From when the issue came up, nobody, absolutely nobody, came to our offices with any document resembling a title deed. Several presentations by various community-based organizations demanded an amendment to the three land bills. Section 16 on the power to alter boundaries and prepare a new edition is a very delicate section and can create conflict between members of our society as it does not include the community or the counties in the subject. The committee will now compile a report to enrich the three land bills to be retabled in parliament soon. Judith Akolo, The News at 9.